When we look at software development, we really can only look at two things. One is that a piece of software, or logical equivalent, has processes. And another aspect of it is that it has data. A process, as Ed Yorton described, changes data. So data cannot exist without processes, and processes cannot exist without data. In order for there to be a process, it must effectively change how the data works. In fact, there must be a transformation of data itself. So let's go on that basis and see if we can develop a couple of the tools which work and allow us to create those types of documentation. The first process that I want you to look at, which has been around for some time and is becoming more popular again, is called a data flow diagram. Originally developed by Ed Jordan and a number of others. A data flow diagram, also known as a DFD, is what we call a process-based tool. Now what that means is that we're going to utilize it when we are talking about a process, as opposed to necessarily talking about a file structure or how a file should be composed. So the purpose then is when we're talking to people who are going to physically be describing their processes to us, we're going to use a data flow diagram rather than take notes. And let me take a moment here to talk about the problems with note taking. When you interview somebody and you take down notes, you are writing things in prose. Two things happen. Number one, you may go back to your office and work on another project for weeks and look back on your notes. Indeed, we've all done that in school, look back on our notes to realize that we don't remember what we wrote. But there's, there's a more challenging problem. Because what you wrote might mean something to you that it doesn't mean to someone else. And if that is true, we have ambiguity. Therefore, when someone writes a specification, which is notes in prose, it is subject to interpretation. And if it's subject to interpretation, it means that development personnel will look at it differently than others. And you're, of course, setting yourself up for, I thought you meant this. And as soon as you go down that road, you're in trouble. So what I'm going to suggest to you is when you interview somebody, you don't take those kinds of notes, but use a series of tools, the first one being a data flow diagram. 